everyone, welcome back for another figure opening video today. Today we are looking at the adorable looking sweet sweets Ichigo no Shota, which means I guess strawberry shot, uh, Miku figure. And I've had this for a little while now and I haven't got around to opening it, but it looks adorable and it looks so unique. So let's kick things off by taking a look at this really cool looking box. So first of all, we can see the text behind Miku here saying Hatsune Miku, and we have this really cool Miku here at the front. This looks really, really interesting. Very excited to open this up. We have our Hatsune Miku logo there, and then sweet, sweet figure, Ichigo no Shoto. Or Ichigo no Shoto. So that's actually quite a long, long, anyway. Uh, so yeah, we have Jaya Price down here, and this is the first version of this figure, as well as our Furio logo. And I like the position of that, that's kind of cool. But anyway, that is the front. On the side, we have Strawberry Short up there. Oh, Short. <laughs> strawberry Short up there. We have a nice close-up of Miku. Miku from behind and just looks so elegant. And then Sweet Sweet's figure down there. So that's pretty cool. On the back, we do have our Miku there. And again, Sweet Sweet's figure with all of our safety information. But on the side, we have this awesome art and this time they really do highlight who the artist is and I'm really happy that they did that. So the art here is by Cheriko so you can go check them out below. I will hopefully put some Twitter handle or some some link to go get to them so do check them out. This is very pretty so super cool. On the bottom around the wrong way we have Hatsune Miku there with this nice kind of hatch pattern and then on the top we have again art by Cheriko so they're really really making that stand out which is good as well as Hatsune Miku there. With two little strawberries. So yeah, let's get this open. Okay, so in with our knife. And yes, I was not expecting to get this because I didn't realize that this was released. However, when I saw it on Amazon for about a thousand yen, I could not say no. So, and I'm hoping that the figure is gonna be good enough quality that it's well worth a thousand yen. I mean, a thousand yen is not much, just like 10 bucks. Um, you can see it's plastic inside and Ta-da! Oh, wow. Okay, she's hidden in a lot of plastic. All right, I've got some unpacking to do, so give me one sec. Okay, stand. And here is our stand. And the stand is just completely pink. It's actually a kind of uncomfortable pink. <laughs> so pink. And I like pink. But yeah, there's a lot here. Um, and in yellow, we have a sweet, sweet figure. And we have a few dots around here with a little bow. So that's pretty cool. We have three holes, so I'm guessing one hole is going to be for her front foot, and these two are going to be holding her back foot, So, and there's a little support there, so that looks cool. Uh, the stand is about 8 millimeters tall, so that's the height of it. And then underneath here, we have art by Cheriko, so again, do go check them out. Krypton Future Media Inc., China, and the material that the figure is made of. So yeah, very interesting stand. So let's put this down. And then we have the figure herself, and this looks super cool. I'm going to talk about some of the more detailed parts in a second, but this is beautiful. What a cool figure. Now, we do have two pieces of hair we need to put in, so let's put them in together. This piece of hair goes into this slot over here, so we're going to put that in like so. And I'm guessing it goes behind the hand. Oh, see, that's quite a hard click. Oh, that click. I hope that the uh, microphone picked that up, because that really didn't went beautiful and then this piece of hair you can see it's got more of a kind of I don't know like an L so this would just go into this slot here and again from behind we want to push in like so is that gonna go in this hair looks a bit bigger than the hole let's find out oh, oh perfect it actually went in with again nice click and the moment of truth oh she's so cute <laughs> this is beautiful all right, let's kick things off by taking a look at her face. So first off, as you can see, her face has an entirely different feel to pretty much every other Miku figure. It feels so much more, what do I want to say, like adult? Like it feels elegant. It's super pretty. First off, her eyes are lovely. They've got that lovely pink and kind of uh, greeny blue, turquoise is the right word, color to it. It's really cool. Her nose sticks out quite a bit. So that's that. And then her mouth is very deeply indented with a bit of white there for her teeth. But it just looks adorable. That's such a cool face. But then her hair as well. Her hair has been nicely shaded from the kind of more darker turquoise at the top to a more kind of greeny yellow tint at the ends. And that's just very, very pretty. And not just that, 
Her hair has so many different like layers to it, little pieces sticking off. There's an extremely sharp piece right there, a little piece kicking off there. That's just beautiful. Ah, this is a lovely, lovely figure. On the back, you can't really see her hair because she is wearing this hat. The hat itself is shiny at the top and has quite a bit of detail underneath. So there's that kind of ribbon around the outside. And there is also this... Oh, see, my glove got caught on her hair. <laughs> there is also this cream and strawberry there at the top. So really, really cool design. Then her hair itself, we have these two uh, little... God, what are these called? Hair ties. I'll just say hair ties. And these have a cool design looking like their cream just squiggled all the way around. I'll show you from behind too, so that's really awesome. And then her hair comes down in these two big strands. And let's take a look at these individually, because on the left side, so my left, actually her right side, we have these strands coming down. There is a bit of an uncomfortable gap there in the middle. And it's all kind of like one solid plastic. But again, we have these little dollops of cream on her hair. So that's really, really cool. It's a shame that there's not really a color fade from the top down to the bottom, but I'm not complaining. Everything else is lovely. This is really cool. But then on the other side, we have a similar motif, except for this side or on this. Yeah, on this side, there's kind of some hair that's sticking off extra. So there's a few extra little curls and twists to it, as well as the cream on that side. And this just looks a little bit more detailed than this one did over here. So yeah, cool hair. But there you go. That's her hair. Let's move down her body. So moving down her body, there's a lot to talk about. First of all, the t-shirt she's wearing underneath has this beautiful heart pattern that goes all the way around the back. It just looks super, super cool. Plus her collar as well looks like some like whipped cream that's been kind of like twisted and just goes all the way around. That's awesome as well. On her sleeves, we have that same pattern that I just talked about up here. So this, uh, like there's a, like it matches all the way through. And then her gloves, these, oh, there you go, I'll show you. These are awesome as well because they have cream with a strawberry on top. All of the fingers are individually molded, but unfortunately the quality of this isn't the best, but you're not really focusing on that. I mean, you're focusing on the whole design overall. On this side, it is a little bit nicer. So it looks like it has been a little, just a tiny bit nicely, more nicely detailed. Fingers sticking off and so on. But yeah, that's really, really cool. But on top of that, she also has this really nice apron, and this apron is just completely smooth. It's really well thought out. It looks like a cake has actually been nicely designed and layered. With all these little cream pieces going all the way around the outside. This is adorable. This is lovely. And on the back, instead of a bow tie, she has just one big dollop of cream. And this really nice smooth cape going on the back with a really cool outline at the bottom there. That's lovely. And underneath that cape, it's all red inside, which is just beautiful. Super, super cool. God, I love this figure. Now, looking underneath the apron and the dress, we have this big puffy piece at the bottom here. There is a hidden little piece of cream there and there. So that's awesome too. Nice kind of ruffles at the bottom. Nice and poofy. So that's cool. And then her legs are probably not the best, honestly. So these are just painted on red, these stockings. There is a little bit of a paint kind of mishap there at the top, but not end of the world. And then her awesome little booties down here. And these are so adorable. Just look at the, oh, that's lovely. And I love that white and red motif. That's just such a cool color combination. On this boot here, we have a line down the middle. I guess that may be how they've molded it, but regardless, it's cool. It's very, very nice. And I'm sure that's actually the same on this side too. But we do also have this little pink piece here, which is going to go in the stand. So let me put her in the stand. And here she is in her stand. And wow, this is such a cool, cool figure. This is so cute. Look, it even looks like she's balancing. Ah, oh, that's adorable. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Let me give you all a few pretty shots of this figure because she really is beautiful. So let's take a look.
Okay, and let's take you next door. So yeah, this is adorable. This is such a cute figure. I am super impressed. Well, that's really echoey in there. <laughs> but what a beautiful, beautiful Miku this is. I'm going to put her this time over here, which is going to be next to the figure that quite a few people didn't like. I thought this was cool, but uh, God, she's adorable and she's tiny. <laughs> she's tiny. <laughs> Look at that. But hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you liked today's video, please do give us a like and please subscribe if you want to see many, many more figure openings. Okay, bye bye!